Guys, the chickens here bringing you another Rush Wars video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be showing you one of the most dominant and uh, currently used attack strategies in the game. How you can use it, it's pretty easy, but um, we're going to get into that and more. So stick around. Okay, so what we're getting into today, guys, let's collect up some of our stars. Let's crack open these chests. Uh, <coughs> let's go over two of uh, the best attack strategies. Now, this isn't for a specific HQ level. It's kind of like, I would say between three and five, it gets used a lot. Um, so let's let's just get into it. So the first one is going to be, well, let's take a look at what our rush packs are. Ooh, we got tanks. Man, that laser one is juicy. Uh, 2,000 gems, so that's expensive. Um, all right, so the first one, guys, we're going to get into is uh, something we've shown you before. And that is going to be all troops and the siren. And it works, it works very well. You have to be careful about a couple things. Basically, uh, lasers, mortar placements, and, uh, well, we're going to be very careful about these rocket trucks. I might actually skip this, uh, this base because he has pitchers and rocket trucks, which are, like, huge deterrents for all troops. Um, this doesn't look too, too bad. He's got two bazookas, a uh, laser, and a mortar, so let's just try to make it work. I mean, essentially what you're doing... Essentially, all that you're doing here, guys, is just uh, you're overwhelming them. You just attack them before they can get too many shots off. <clears throat> and then the pure speed of them. Uh, it's just the, the speed that they do, and then you end up like this. And um, a very easy, very simple attack strategy. A lot of people use it. You know, it's very basic. A lot of people just call it mindless, but it does work very, very well. So if you're not using all troops and you're stuck, give it a try. Uh, it works best with the, the, the coach commander. Uh, I don't have him, so I just use two sirens, and that's fine. Um, if I didn't, I would probably use one siren, one medkit, and the coach or invincibility. Uh, those would both probably work very well. The next one is... Um, this is like what I use when I, if I get stuck or if I go on a, a streak of getting like only one or two stars uh, for a little bit. I like to use all hot shots and either invisibility or the siren. So for this, we'll use the siren, and I'm going to bring out uh, Lady Grenade who sucks, but uh, the, both the commanders suck. I'd like to see the commanders get a bit of a buff so they'd be a, a little bit more viable, but uh, either way, here we go. So we got hot shots. They got a gorilla. So how you want to do this, guys, is you want to put one hot shot up front, and then you want to kind of make a pack of six off to one side, closer to the back. And all that does is the hot shots do so much damage when they're bunched up like this. So we're going to go like that. And you'll see right here, they're just going to rip through everything. Especially once they get that little hit of Siren. They like they just melt everything instantly. Like It doesn't matter if they're very close or very far away. Um, and you're basically sacrificing the, the one uh, just as like a quick distraction. So everything targets it for a sec. Then you hit them with the Sirens. And then they just plow through the base. Like You really can't lose. Um, the only time you're going to struggle with, uh, with these kind of attack strategies is when... <coughs> is when the base is, is designed to go against um, is when the base is designed to go against it so that, that's pretty rare and I mean for the amount of bases you're gonna, gonna come across that you are gonna struggle with using all troops or all hot shots just skip it and go to the next one um, this white guy's got two bazookas so this would be what I would call a tough base for this so let's try to see if we can make it work anyways just to show you guys you know something else other than just oh it's an easy walkthrough um, so we're going to go up this way and I'm going to go like that. We're going to hit the siren here and we're going to hit this one again. So see, it's not all easy. It's not all easy. <clears throat> yeah. So, I mean, if, especially not having a commander, like if we had bear or a uh, lady grenade there, it might've been a little bit easier, but it doesn't work every time. So let's heal her back up and try this again. But it's very good. It's a very good strategy, guys. Uh, I mean, strategy. Throw all the troops out and then splash down some sirens so they go crazy. Um, he's got two pitchers. This one should still be a little bit easier, though. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread them out a little bit better. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You just got to be careful when they're all grouped up if they're taking too much splash damage. Um, yeah, I mean, the idea is basically you want them to hit stuff before it ha they have time to get shot by it. 
Oof. So. That's basically how it goes. And, uh... I, personally, I like using the hotshots better because they have a little bit more health. So if you do screw up and, and make a mistake, then it's not the end of the world. Um, but all troops are probably better. Uh, it's probably easier to use if you're looking into, you know, just trying one or two of them out. This guy's got two bazookas, two lasers, and a mortar. So it's going to be a little bit greasy. Uh, let's put the bear here and then let's go. Let's let him get up and then we're going to go all troops. And we're gonna go like that and just like this and the idea is just to outrun them before they can do too much splash damage and we got to take this mortar down we'll have a couple left yeah I would say all troops is probably <clears throat> easier to use I, I still think the hot shots is better because they do more damage and they have a little bit more health because um, when you come across a base that's gonna be hard for this the only thing you're looking for is splash defenses and out of the two out of the two, uh, the troops are a little bit weaker to it. So, let me know if you guys have been using these. They're kind of like, um, I don't know, they're kind of like the no skill uh, strategies that, that people make fun of, but um, it works. It works, so we'll do a video on it. Um, what else do we got, guys? What else do we got? Uh, let's draft our troops. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, hmm, this is a horrible draft. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the gorillas. Okay, shield's not bad. And I'm also going to get rid of the boxer. Oh, the plumbing van, really? Laser, okay. Okay, that was better. So, let's get into a couple domination attacks. Uh, we'll start at the top. Rick C. Can we see his replay? Probably. Let's scout this guy. Gorilla Gatling Gun. That doesn't look too bad. We can take him down, I think, guys. So, let's go... Let's go two lasers, a tank, uh, a shield, a bear, and we'll use two airdrops. So we should get this 100%. If we don't, I think there's something wrong with this. Uh, let's go bear, laser, laser. And then this side, we're going to go uh, shield and tank. That should put us in a pretty good position. I don't want to use the bear's ability just yet. Cause he's just gonna get melted by the Gatling gun anyways. <clears throat> now we want those lasers to lock on that cannon as soon as they can. Come on lasers. Okay, now it's just, that, that tank has enough health left I think, since the lasers were able to uh, retarget that cannon, that uh, it's gonna be able to go head to head against this mortar cause I don't think the lasers gonna have enough juice to take him down. Maybe he will actually. Oh my God. Boom. Well, we used a lot of troops there, but we had to get three stars on the top guy. Because once Rick goes down, you know, it's all on the chicken at that point. So let's do another attack here. See what else we can help out with. Uh, let's get out this guy. We should actually look at the path there. What's an easier path, left or right? I think left has more stuff three stars. So let's go on this side. Um, damn, that looks tough. So he's got hotshots, lasers. I don't have any flying troops either, right? Eh? He's got hotshots, lasers. Hotshots, lasers, shields, Gatling gun, and a bomb somewhere. Um, okay. Why do I have my two airdrops? Do I not just use them? This game's confusing sometimes. Um, let's go like this. Try the same thing again, I guess. Now this is gonna be tough because everybody's gonna kind of go to the center automatically. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put the bear and the tank up front with the shields, and then we're going to go two lasers in behind. I'm going to move them up a little bit closer. <clears throat> now, I do want the bear to get targeted first, so we'll use his ability. And then let's put two parachuters on the Gatling gun, just to get that out of the way, hopefully. Yep. A little bit overkill. Probably a lot overkill, but um, I don't know. You know, in terms of domination, if you got to use a little bit more to get three stars <clears throat> and you're, your team's ahead, I think that's okay. If you're behind, you probably have to look at it a little bit more carefully and make sure that you're not doing, uh, you know, like we're up over, uh, we're up almost 60 stars. So I think, uh, I think we're doing all right. So yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite uh, troop strategy 
is to use in Rush Wars currently. Now, personally, I don't use these ones. I like to use um, the helipods, like a mix of helipods, lasers, and tanks, and then like whatever troop I have left over, maybe a bazooka in the back or something if I have an extra slot. Um, that's what I've been using. Let me know what you guys have been using and what you want to see in the next Rush Wars video down below in that comment section. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. I'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.